for the curly fries how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing well welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mel and we're about to have a good time with today's video now i know it's been a minute since i posted a video um i was honestly feeling myself getting a little burnt out um i was having some like issues with like my confidence when it came to like filming and stuff like that you know the little like self-doubt that creeps into like every creator's like mind and stuff from time to time so i just gave myself a bit of a break and honestly it was well needed i feel refreshed i feel recharged and i'm excited about today's video now you guys most likely know me as primarily a fantasy reader i love my fantasy be it ya adult middle grade whatever i just love fantasy but i have recently been getting really into sci-fi and i do have some sci-fi recommendations for you that'll be in a later video but today's video is going to be the five sci-fi books i want to read in 2022 so if that interests you stick around okay so the first sci-fi novel for me is one that i've read so this will be a reread for me. I think I read this back in like 2019, I want to say, and that is Frankenstein by Marie Shelley. Yes, I read this for the first time back in 2019. I know, where have I been? This was never a required reading for any of my classes. So I honestly never really thought about picking it up until I just like was scrolling through thrift books one day and this popped up because of like, you know, me liking Wuthering Heights and stuff like that it was in my recommendations so I figured why not it's relatively short I didn't think it was going to be as amazing as it was this blew me away in so many ways it had like the writing the atmosphere like Frankenstein's monster just it was so good and I'm just really excited to reread this I think it's a long overdue I wanted to reread it this year but I just did not prioritize it. But yes, everybody knows more or less what Frankenstein is about. I'm excited to get into this. If you guys haven't read this, highly recommend that you do. So the next sci-fi novel that I want to read is one that I mentioned on my channel before, and that is The Tempered Steel of Antiquity Gray by Sean Speaksman. This was sent to me unsolicited by the author, but honestly, I took one look at this cover and it gave me some serious Horizon Zero Dawn vibes. I think because of like the metallic hand, but it caught my interest and the blurb in the back says a wild ride on a horse that's part star wars part avatar action-packed with star wars wielding tech as muscular as iron man but centering on a young girl and her diverse circle of friends what's not to love and with a blurb like that who can't be interested i'm so excited to get to this i have just been really loving this year i've read a couple of self-published sci-fi novels and i've been really loving them so the fact that i'm pretty sure this is either self-pumped or in or indie published i'm just excited i think i'm gonna have a good time with this and i just cannot wait to read this the next sci-fi novel that i want to read in 2022 is one that it's highly popular it's by a popular author i'm pretty sure you've seen it all around booktube and that is project hail mary by anzi weir this follows a man named Ryland Grace and he was sent on this mission to like save Earth because it's on the brink of distinction. The sun is getting dimmer and dimmer and they're trying to figure out why. But he wakes up on this ship not knowing his name, not knowing what's going on, not knowing why he's on the ship, what mission he's supposed to be doing. And it's like just basically following the events of that. I've heard that this is very funny. I've heard that... It's a cozy kind of sci-fi, like it's not super intense or nothing, which I think is going to be pretty interesting. Um, it's kind of funny that I'm interested in this because as I'm filming this, I'm still in the middle of The Martian and I'm having not the greatest time with it. I kind of feel like it's been dragging on and I don't know why I'm so excited for this. I just feel like this one, maybe because it's described as a cozy sci-fi. I just feel like this one I might enjoy more. So I am looking forward to getting to it in 2022. The next one that I want to read in 2022, I'm so excited for this. I've been wanting to read it for a while. I have it on my Kindle, but I but I saw this on sale on Better World's book, a used copy that was in great condition. So I could not pass it up. And that is Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. 
oh my gosh i've been wanting to read this for a while i'm obsessed with this cover and all i know about this is that it follows a woman who gets one day just randomly transported to the past i think to like the 1800s yeah she gets transported back to the 1800s and she is witnessing this boy drown and she's trying to save him but she can't and then she's taken back to the future and then she keeps going back to the past and seeing this boy drown over and over again and there's like some mes message or something that she's supposed to figure out and you don't know what it is you don't know why she's able to keep transporting back to the past and i've heard nothing but great things about this and i cannot wait to read this i've been wanting to read octavia butler for a while but i feel like just having the physical books in my hand Will make for a better reading experience than if i read this on my kindle and i just couldn't pass up the beautiful cover <laughs> speaking of beautiful covers i recently entered a giveaway on twitter for a hardcover arc copy of a book by this self-helped author and when i tell you that this book is a beautiful i am talking about dark theory by wick welker this is one of the most stunning covers look at that cover scheme just all around gorgeous look at the sword oh my goodness and then like underneath the dust jacket it's like how do i put i don't know how to describe it it kind of looks almost like a, like a jean material i don't know if you guys can tell kind of looks almost like a jean material i'm obsessed with it um and I've, like I said, I've been wanting to get into sci-fi. I've heard a lot about this author. I've heard that his books are amazing. And so when I saw, sorry, somebody was calling me, but like I was saying, <laughs> I once I saw he was doing like this giveaway on Twitter, I decided to enter because I've heard nothing but amazing things about him and his writing. And I don't know what this is about, but we're gonna learn what it's about together, shall we? It says, a robot, a thief, a galaxy in peril. On the fringe of a broken civilization, a robot awakens with no memories and only one directive, find his creator. But in the village of Korth, Vitro finds only radioactive pestilence, famine, and Marie, a tormented thief with dreams of retiring after her final score. Meanwhile, the fiefdom is plunged further into chaos when a new warlord seizes control, recasting serfs as refugees and leaving derelict robot peasants in his wake. With a shared interest in survival, Vitru and Marie team up to pull off an impossible castle heist, still a single flake of dark matter, the world's most valuable and mysterious ore. But as they trek through the feudal wasteland in search of answers, they realize the true extent of the chaos surrounding them. The stars are disappearing from the sky and the entire galaxy is unraveling. As he uncovers his origin, Vitru discovers he may be the key to the salvation of the cosmos or its destruction. Time, space, and loyalty become relative as he learns the real reason he was created. A mind-bending science fiction epic with the bones of a fantasy traveling quest, dark theory unfolds through the journey of betrayal, identity, and unlikely friendships in a world of darkness set at the edge of space and time. Sounds so freaking good. <laughs> I cannot wait to get to it. Um, that is a chunky boy, but I am so ready to sink my teeth into it. Okay, y'all, so I lied. I did say it was going to be five, but I just remembered another one that I do want to get to as well. This is one that's on my Kindle, and it is called The Engineer by Darren Henshaw. This is a self-pub fantasy novel, a self-pub sci-fi novel that follows our main character, Aceton, I think is his name. Action. Action is how I think you say his name, and he is like in this place called Redemption, and he is being chased by these mercenaries, and things are not going according to plan, and it's just I don't know too much about it. I will be honest with you guys, um, but the author was like sharing stuff on Twitter about it, and I was like, you know what? Let me read the preview on Amazon, and the first chapter or the first like whatever little sample that they let you read on Amazon just sounded so good. I feel like Acteon is going to be a hilarious character and I love funny characters. So I am ready. I am excited and I just cannot wait to dive into this one as well. But yeah, those are the fantasy sci-fi, sci-fi 
Can you tell it's been a while since I've been in front of the camera? Those are the sci-fi novels that I want to get to, that I'm definitely going to get to into 2022. I may read some more, hopefully, um, but that's what I'm going to just set myself up with for now because I'm not primarily a sci-fi reader, so this will be good to like dip my toes in a bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps my channel out a lot. And I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.